amazing grace shall always be my song of praise for it was grace that bought my liberty oh lord guys i just want to share something with you i'm in the car i just left the dentist's office where um i was scheduled to have some dental surgery a few months ago and just if you're new to my channel i want you to know that i have kidney disease but on the day that i was going to have the dental surgery my heart rate was only 33 and a normal heart rate is between 60 and 100 and I was going into heart failure and didn't know it. Thank God I had reputable dentists that told me they couldn't do the surgery. And long story short, I'm just sitting in the car and I just got overwhelmed. And I'm just thankful for God's goodness and his mercy because that could have went real wrong. And while I was wearing the heart monitor before I got diagnosed for sure that I have a fear, I wasn't afraid to die. But I didn't want to go through any type of heart surgery. And I know the choice is not mine, but I just kept praying to God and asking him to heal me. And that's what he did. By, by his stripes, we are healed. I'm telling you guys, I pray like I have never prayed before because I don't think my assignment on this earth is finished and he healed me and I'm taking medication and I'm telling you guys I have more energy now than I've had in several years listen to your body and follow your intuition pray because sometimes the doctors don't know everything. So they assumed that my shortness of breath was because my body was overworking, trying to filter out my blood because I have kidney failure. I have a hereditary disease called polycystic kidneys I inherited from my father. But that shortness of breath that I had been experiencing was aphia and I was having heart issues. So I'm just thankful to God. I feel good. I got on one of my girls today. I got up feeling good. One of my girls, guys, is my wigs. I haven't worn them in months. I've been just wearing a hat. And I'm telling you guys, I'm just so thankful. I hope I said something that would inspire you to keep better check of your health. And don't assume that the doctors know everything. So I've been to the cardiologist twice. I may have said that. A child will be 70 years old in a few months. Yep, I'll be hitting a big 7 0. And I've been to the nephrologist twice. And I've lost a few pounds. My blood pressure is down. But that AFib is tricky. It can slow your heart rate down and your blood pressure will be fine. Okay? So just, 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 just check on yourself, guys. Okay. Take care. You know I love you. Bree and I are in Lowe's. And we're looking at these Asiatic tiny uh, lilies. I'm looking for things for my friend. I'm showing Bria how some of them have three bulbs that the lilies are growing out of, and some of them have two. So we picked these two, which we think this beautiful flower will complement the hydrangeas that I'm getting over here. And by the way, guys, we're looking for stuff to put in the prayer garden. And over here, we've got on clearance some dianthus. And I'm going to see how much they're marking them down for. And I may get those and I may not. And I may get some more marigolds. <laughs> and we got some stuff in our prayer garden. First, we got these lilies. Let me go back out. Aren't they pretty? We have two of them. They weren't on sale. But it reminded me of my mom and my grandmother, so I got two of them. I've got a beautiful hydrangea, some more marigolds, because mines are taking too long to grow. We got these on sale. These are dianthus, 
and they were on sale. With, they were two dollars, so I went back and got four more. So I'm hoping we can close the trunk. You want to do it real slowly, Bria? Great for us. <laughs> okay. Okay, go real slow. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Let me go and uh. Yeah. The flowers are not messed up. Okay, cool. Right now, I have four titans, the large sunflowers, to have come up. So I'm going to carefully remove two. I'm going to put them right here because they're going to be the tallest sunflowers. So I want them to go toward the back. And then I'm going to put two over there next toward the fence. But I have like a foot. I don't know if you can see it. I've got a foot from the fence. So they won't actually be touching the fence. But. I'm gonna put two here and two over here. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I have two Titans over here, two Autumn Beauties closer to the front, and in the middle I have the uh, Sunken Double Sunflower in this container. This pot is big enough to accommodate more sunflowers than that. So, we'll wait and see what comes up. While I'm out here transplanting, I put a Marigold in the middle of the squash, patty pan squash. I put a marigold over here in the middle of what's going to be Minnesota Minchie squash. The beans are looking good. The golden beets are looking good. And I put one in the middle of the okra because we know that the okra plants attract a lot of aphids. And then I did a uh, golden crookneck squash. Over here, I put one uh, marigold here. And then I have parsnip and market turnips over here. And I'm saving this spot for more okra that I'm just gonna direct sow the seeds. Because okra likes warm weather and they will take off seedlings once it gets pretty warm. So that's what I'm waiting because we had 38 degrees yesterday. And I think we're gonna have pretty decent weather, nothing below 40 or 45. So I'm gonna go ahead on and sprinkle these seeds, okra seeds tomorrow. Guys, this is tree and shrub protect and feed. It's an insect protection. Plus it uh, provides a slow release for uh, fertilization for trees and shrubs. And it's good for 12 months. I'm a little bit behind. I thought my daughter was gonna do it this year, but I don't wanna keep nagging about that. Just letting you know that I'm doing it today. And you follow the directions on the container. Brian is going to thoroughly water this plum tree over here. Spread it all the way around it, Brian. I can't see you. All the way around. You're gonna use it all up, Ryan, so you can go faster. All around the mulch so that when it rains in a few days, the mulch will get wet and it'll continue to feed the tree for 12 months. Go all the way around, not in one spot. See, because I don't see anything over there. Don't waste it outside. Okay, right to your uh, on the other side. I don't see anything over here, right, right in here, Brian. I don't see anything wet right there. Just go all on the edges without wetting the ground. Go ahead, baby. Sorry. Don't waste it. Okay, you want to feel me doing it? There we go. So Brian is applying it to this pink lady apple tree. And once you're about halfway finished, then hit that apple tree over there. Once you've got halfway, half of the liquid out of that watering can, 
Please don't waste it on the ground. Mm -hmm. Let me have it, please. You, you don't have to go real slow, bro. Now, there are different amounts that you use for a container tree as opposed to what you would use for a tree in the ground. That's why I say if you're going to use this, I highly recommend it, but follow the manufacturer's directions. Okay, Brian, you're going to put the rest of it in this tree right over here. And we're late on pruning and I probably won't prune the trees this year, except for this area that's dead, that's not budding out. I'm gonna take that off. But I usually prune in February. And uh, I didn't know I was gonna be taking over this garden. So this right here is dead as well. And I'm going to take it off and I'll prune it, uh, cut it off nicely later. If I was pruning this tree, and I'm, I'm telling you, I make this practice all the time. I never move from one tree to another tree or if I move, for example, I'm going to prune this dead branch right here. Okay. If I was going to prune anything else on this tree, I would sanitize this with hydrogen peroxide that's what's in the spray bottle and then i'll clean, wipe it off and then i will move on but like i said we started too late this year so i'm not going to prune the trees this year i'm just trying to get your grass to grow back where i had containers last year okay i tried several times to have my grandkids uh, take this portion of the video, but it was just too windy outside as you can see I had a deadline in my head to have my prayer garden completed by Easter Sunday and we have a week to go so I'm showing you what now what I'm getting ready to Plant in the prayer garden mostly perennials things that will come back every year. Okay, let's get started Okay, Brian, so we're going to just push down on here. Move this one out the way, babe, because it's on the ground behind you. Tear this pot up if, if we have to. Squeeze it, Brian. You got more strength than I got. Okay? Now, you're getting that lace, Bria? We're going to, wait, wait, wait. Let me hold it because they have beautiful blooms. We don't want to tear it up. You're going to pull it from the bottom. Very good. Now, hold that soil right there. I'm gonna put it right here and you can put the other soil around it. Put it right in the middle. There you go, Brian. Don't don't touch my flowers. Right around here. You got that Maria? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then Brian, you're gonna come on the other side. You're gonna cook the other side of the flowers. You're gonna come around here. And you're gonna mound that soil up. You're gonna lay it over right there. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. I'm going to mound the soil up right around here, like I did in the front. See, like here? You're going to do that in the back. You're going to push it all the way to the center. All the soil behind it, Brian. Bring it up. Okay. And then we're going to press down just lightly. Okay? That's it. You see the Asiatic lily? Mm -hmm. We're going to scoop out enough soil and put this container in it and center it, okay? All right. We're gonna make a little circle right around here and then we're gonna drop this plant in there. And we're gonna take this soil and we're gonna put it in here. Mm -hmm. I put made a hole, Brian. And you're gonna see if it's deep enough and wide enough by putting this inside of there. So I need to go down a little deeper. So you're gonna take it out. Are you still videotaping, babe? Yes. So I'm gonna go down a little bit deeper. This is new soil, new potty mix. And I'm just trying to 
utilize the soil and then Ryan will come down and see that that fit in pretty good. Ryan, you have to move out the way so she can get you. That's okay, Bria? Uh-huh. Okay, now we're gonna, we're going to pull this out. This plant out with two hands, Brian. And we're gonna pull this out. Remember, I taught you how to pull it out to squeeze. Uh huh. Squeeze. Oh, look at those roots. Healthy. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put it down there. I'm gonna push it down just a little. And then I'm just gonna seal in. <coughs> <coughs> Is that okay, Bria? Yes. I wish I had turned it where I could show that pretty flower. Ooh, that looks so pretty right But they'll here. bloom real soon. Now, over here, you see this one? I should have centered it where this flower so pretty is showing. Yep. But I just trying to get it in before it start raining again. But now I made sure that I put this one so you can see the pretty bloom. Okay? Even though these are going <laughs> to open it up real soon. Okay. These are the dianthus that we got on sale, and they were on, they were marked down to two dollars, but the original price was six ninety eight. Do you have that clear? Uh huh. And so I'm just gonna put two right here, and then two over two here. Two in each one. I could put one in the back, but I'm not gonna waste the money because you're not gonna be able to see it. But we're going to put one in each one of these. Maria, since I have, I'm going to go ahead and put them close to the edge. But in the years to come, uh, these are going to get so big that I'm going to move them to other places in the garden. So you're going to move back a little bit, sweetie. I'm going to dig a little hole here. And I'm going to put... What is that, babe? I'm pointing to it. Put one over here. They're pretty. They are pretty. And I'm going to keep these containers because they're deep. And we can put one right here. And we'll finish this out. Mm -hmm. Those plants rem remind me of the little butterfly looking flowers. Mm -hmm. So let's go in here. Put that one right there. And push down. And then I want to put, I'm going to try to turn this just a little bit. I'm going to put this one right here. Can you get that? Mm -hmm. so I'm going to push this one back out because it's too. It's not it. deep enough. That's better. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. I did have one nasturtium seedling to come up, and I put it here. And as more seeds germinate, I'll transplant those nasturtiums in this area. Okay, I'm going to call it a day. Tomorrow, I will work on the prayer garden again. I know I'm going to add some yard art. It's the next day, and I thought I would share a picture of my prayer garden at my former home and food forest that I sold. I know I can't recreate it, you know, exactly, but I just wanted to bring that feeling that I have of peace and I guess understanding when I go there to pray and I could pray anywhere any place but I just want to have a designated area in this garden for us all to use to come and speak with the Lord and our ancestors I was on my way home and I had a thought I saw tractor supply. Let me go in here. I haven't been in here in years. So I'm going to check them out and see if I can find something I can use in my prayer garden. So I got two of the dormant roses and I'm on my way home to plant them. I bought this little caddy to put in my car and it has compartments in it and you can really make it into three if you want to. 
I put in that divider like so, but I bought it from Amazon. I'll put a link in the comments so I can set my plants in. I don't mess my car up so much. Yeah, that'll work. Hi guys. Wait, look, be mama, look. <laughs> Got more flowers, huh? Overnight. Look over here. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Okay, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to dig out a center around here, put this sunflower someplace else, and we're going to do the same thing over here, and we're going to put these white roses that I got in the pot because we don't want to have to go buy another pot. We're going to use what we have. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the roses in the middle of the sunflowers, it's very easy to do because it had been raining. The uh, soil was very soft. And uh, the roses were just growing in uh, sawdust. So it didn't have any soil. I think they'll take off now. I did the same thing over here. Guys, Bri is my champion. She got some bricks. And we are making this little retaining area. Go ahead, sweetie. And put the last two. What? Are y'all ready? <laughs> and drum roll, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so silly. Put it down. Cheers. Now, look, look, I'm going to show you what we're going to have to do. Yeah. We're going to have to bring this out a little bit. Bring those two out right here. Mm hmm. Don't worry about it being so straight. I'll straighten that. So, that's it. Now, look over here. See it? Yeah. I got to make it straight. Okay, you got to make it straight. Got to fix all of these. Because mm -hmm. we might not need one of those bricks. Yeah. Good job. Kind of like when we were doing the greenhouse at my other house, remember? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna have to use this brick for the end problem. Just put a little space in between. Okay. Wait a minute. Just a little space. Down here you can do make some space. Oh, I can have that brick cut in half, but I'm not going to do that. Just a little bit. Turn it just a little bit. Push it back. Mm-hmm. Push these back. Mm-hmm. Excellent. That's good enough. Because I can put some little edging uh, right in here. And so what we're going to do tomorrow, guys... We're going to put some more landscaping fabric right down here. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. You're doing good. We're going to cover up this so that, so that the grass don't come in here. We're going to put some landscaping fabric there. And that's it. We at Home Depot to deliver our marble white chips. And that's what we're going to put around all around the pots. Okay, everybody, this concludes this video. I tried my best to include things that I thought would be helpful for you to use in your gardens. Please like and subscribe and share this video if you can. Thanks for watching. You know that I love you and God loves you too. Bye now. Bye.